one of the main goals of our current immigration system is to keep American workers in their place. Our Democratic and Republican parties, by and large, are, are doing a pretty good job of that. Both Democratic and Republican administrations are happy to continue bringing in large numbers of workers to keep wages relatively low for their fellow citizens. So, it is working. It is working. I mean, you know, like a lot of policies, uh, we can sort of put a humanistic veneer on it. Mm -hmm. We can say our, our real goal is to help poor people from other places. And there, there could be some truth to that. But the core of it, I would say, is, is keeping workers in a subservient position. The basic economic model that, as far as I can tell, every economist who studies this, wherever they fall on the issue of immigration policy, uses, tells us two basic things. That immigration grows the economy. There's more people, there's more activity, right? It's a bigger economy. And, and as part of growing the economy, I guess there's three things, uh, it creates what's called sort of this immigration surplus. 50 billion or so dollars a year that it is just extra money that wouldn't have been there. That, that's a lot of money. It's to 50 billion dollars. Mm -hmm. And in order to get those two things, the bigger economy and especially that surplus, it also redistributes 500 billion dollars from the wages of workers to the pockets of the investment class. So that's, you know, hugely important. And I would basically go along with, with that analysis of the situation. Uh, currently, the U.S. has uh, historically high levels of immigration. That grows the economy a certain amount, uh, and it shifts the benefits massively towards the wealthier and away from poorer people.